What is up guys, Kelsen here, and welcome back to the Noxo Trip. So, I have something to tell y'all. You see that pile of blood next to Keith here? That's his blood. If you caught the stream last Saturday, you would have saw that, um, Keith got bit. So, we had to chop his arm off, but as you can see, his arm is in mint condition. Because the mod, the only cure, that's what it's called, that lets you chop off your arms... It was giving me like thousands of errors. It was making my game lag. I I tried not removing it so because that would be cool to see Keith with a prosthetic arm. That would be epic. He'd be super cool. But it just didn't work out in the end. I had to get rid of it. I'm sorry. But to secure the future of the series, I had to do it. But today, we are going to go start our little killing spree at the hospital. St. Peregrine's Hospital. I have geared up a bit. I'll show you that before we head out. I said, I gotta get this blood off the floor. I gotta find like a mop and some bleach. We found this M16 in that stream as well. We only have one mag, but we've got like four boxes of 556. So we can, we can let this ring a bit. I've got the katana ready to go. We are gonna go chop up some Zeds. Let me get Keith back looking good. There we go. All right, let me show you what I've got going on out here. I actually have to turn off the lights as well. Let me do that. Don't want to be wasting power before we head off. The garden is looking good. I harvested some crops right before this. The corn is almost ready to go. I'm just waiting on it to be seed bearing so that I have a surplus. And the wheat is still growing. As you can see now. Corn is looking nice. And yeah, it is overall very good. We've got water. We've got everything. So yeah, I've got the trailer set up with the van. If we hop on the trunk real quick, you'll see. I've got two bags filled with bunch of stuff that I could use. Got the rest of the the regular stuff I had in there, like toolbox, gas can, sledgy. Had ten boxes of shotgun shells that I could not fit in the bag, so that's just sitting in there right now. But if we hop into the trailer and wait for it to load. I've got food, I've got water, so we're good to stay the night if we need to. Which is probably what I'm gonna do until we clear out the hospital. Or die trying. Are we good? Nice. Okay. Well, I'm going to go make some last minute preparations, and I will see you guys at the hospital. Already we are pulling up on the hospital now, getting the van in here was a pain in the half because all the cars that are blocking the road. But I made it through. I'm more worried about how I'm going to get out of here afterwards, but here we are. Probably just going to park up right here. Right here is looking real nice. We've got some visitors pulling in. I didn't turn off the engine. There we go. Bit laggy. I think that's to be expected. But I finally figured out how to dual wield with brutal handwork. All you gotta do is hold control and then press the, the hotkey for a second your weapon. And it does it. Look at this. We got two nice decks. Keith is finally rocking and rolling with full potential. If I can hit the Zeds. Okay, that guy just fell over. I don't know what happened to him. But the dual nice decks going to work. Look at that. I see you. Come on over. Take a bit of a smoke before we scout out the area. We got some... Right, let me do that. We've got some Zeds down here we can take care of. Let's look Plaza looking in the parking lot. Looking good. There's a scooter there. Very cool. It's a pizza scooter. Keith can become a little bit of a delivery man. Alright, time to get to work. I forgot to show off the stats for Keith. I could do that while they're, they're training up behind me. Favorite weapon is still the crowbar. Survive for one month, 14 days, 19 hours, going on 2,100 Zeds killed. Very nice. Weight is going down a little bit. Let's take the beta blocker. This might be the last one in the bottle, actually. It is. Alright, this is. I think this is my last bottle of beta blockers at base. So I gotta make it work, but at least we're raiding a hospital, you know? There's definitely potential for finding more. Okay. Do I want to use the katana now? Because, I, I mean, there's no point in not using it, right? If it breaks, it breaks. It's gonna break eventually. Might as well. Get the one-shots in while I can. Gave him some time, it is already 4 o'clock. We gotta clear this place out so we can sleep in the car or the trailer. So I cannot enter the trailer if there are Zeds around. I think like a 20 tile radius. 
Look at that. The first blood on the katana. Looking nice. Where are you? Ooh, an extra weapon. I will take that. Thank you, nurse. I think I'll just leave you on the floor right here for now. My biggest worry is fighting indoors. I have no clue what that place looks like. I gotta find out where my emergency my emergency exits are. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun indeed. How are we looking? How many floors is that? Three, four, and then the roof. Can't tell. Hello, you. Goodbye, you. Oh, they're falling out of the roof. I saw that. Okay, let me get away from that. There we go. I need to see. Keith needs to be able to see. Double kill. Hello, doctor. I prescribe you with death. Oh, yeah. Keith is going strong at this thing. There's a shotgun cop in there. Oh yeah, there's quite a few in there. Uh, do I have the weapons that I want? The M4 is on, the M16 is unsuppressed, the pistol is suppressed. I think we'll be fine. I could get out the grenades. The grenades could come in handy right now. Just, uh, even just to have them on me so I don't have to go rummage with them later. Let me go do that. Because if I get a horde following me and I have no way to deal with them in a timely manner, I'm going to be screwed. I want to be, I want to play this smart. Get the pipe bombs and the scrap bombs. No fire yet. I don't want to burn down this place just yet. But if it comes to that, I will. Fire is my last resort. Because I've 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 done a lot of killing with fire. I want to do some killing with not fire. Bunk. And so we're trying to save Knox County, not burn it to, sh to smithereens and ash. Is after all those Zeds are dead, we're gonna need this place. It is a hospital. A very big one. This place could be good for survivors. Bunk. I guess not really a bunk anymore. This is a katana. But who cares? We're having fun here. I gotta make sure they don't fall down on top of Keith here. Come on then, small groups at a time. The lag is immense. It is okay. Really hope this katana lasts. Uh, not at least uh, most of this killing spree. I do want to keep using it, but sometimes things aren't meant to be. Can I even repair it? No. Once it's gone, it's gone. I will keep it though when it breaks. That is that is something I will do. Because I can make weapon racks. I did find that. It's in the, the building menu mod. Get away from me. Just gotta, gotta control the lag in situations like this. Come on then. Your count is going to skyrocket because of this. 100%. This is just the main lobby. There's a ton of them behind the reception as well. There we are. Beta blocker seems to have ended. Whatever we got. Come on, doctors. Come on out. Time to leave. It's time to clock out. Your service is no longer needed. Well, let's switch back to the nightstick. Might not kill us quick, but it'll save on energy. At least I hope so. And I hope this bandana is going to be enough with corpse sickness. Because there are a lot of corpses and it's only going to become more. And these corpses are going to bring in more Zeds, so we'll see how that goes. At least that's what I think it'll happen. What I think will happen. Right, we've, make some, we've made some breathing room in here. 
But they are just gonna start flooding out. Could go back to dual wielding. Let's see. There you go, Keith. It is a weird button combination for me, but my control is also crouch. So I gotta make sure I'm safe when I'm gonna dual wield like that. But it seems like when when Keith swings his left arm, he goes a little bit faster. That's pretty cool. I don't know why that is. Oh, you completely missed, Keith. What are you doing? Bring him around this way. This way is better for fighting. Back up. There we go. Good job, Keith. He's already. Should have brought a chair with me. Oh, that made me scared. But I don't like when that happens. I got, I got a little bit too close. Oy, again. Yeah. Exertion kills, folks. Remember that. Exertion, jazziness. All those things. Right click did the thing again. That's how I got bit the other time on stream. Right click just decides, decides to give out. I don't know if it's the battery or what. Triple. Very nice. Okay. You good? Looking good. Yeah, I need a chair. Well, actually, no, I can just rest in the in the trailer as long as I'm clear. Let's see. I mean, I look clear enough. It should be far enough away, I think. If I'm not, that's gonna be that's an issue. That is an issue. Uh, does this work? My sub driver, where's that? Right here. This would take game of moving, driving wheel. Mm -hmm. Never mind. We either might just have to sit on the ground or go inside. Let's try the first option. The safer option first. There we go. Just a bit. Get the <laughs> nightstick specs out. Let's see. My English is very bad today. But yeah, let's go see what's going on in here. Maybe we can get one of these chairs. That'd be real nice. Alright, come on. Hello, doctor. Time for you to go. Alright, they're starting to move now. Oh, got some visitors. Wonder how the explosions are gonna work. If I set a bomb off indoors. Is it gonna cause fire? Is it gonna destroy tiles? I don't know. I really don't know. Get some more coming out. There we go. I also did not need to bring the sleeping bag with me, but I did. Oh well, that's fine. Good to have. Does weigh me down a little bit, I think. Double bonk. I'm glad I figured out how to do wield this is so nice. Single fellow folks. There we go. Stop kind of cutting lines, sir. You'll get your turn. Okay, get away from the trailer. I need to be able to see. I'm not gonna pop a blocker. I can deal with this with panic. You can serve my blockers a bit. I'm gonna try to fight as late as I can, but without getting drowsy. So once I get drowsy, that's gonna be bad. I need to clear as many as I can so I can sleep in the trailer. Or else I'm gonna have to move it somewhere. There's the exertion again. To be expected. 
I hit you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Can I rest indoors? Nope, they keep on coming out. Never mind. Evening sun just came out, I think. Or was that just the warmth overlay? I think it was the warmth overlay. Hello, shotgun. Please die. I need to go rest. Thank you. Right over here. Go to 7 o'clock. There we go. Perfect. Back to it. No rest for Keith. Well, some rest for Keith. Ooh, another M9 mag? Hold on. So, I don't, I'm trying to find the shotgun that's semi-auto. But, I'm, I don't know. They might have removed it. I know the Spaz 12 is semi-auto. I haven't found one of those yet. Probably have to go to a military outpost for one of them. You guys are just walking right through the, t the tables. I just, I just realized that. That's not good for me. Stop shoving him, Keith. Just kill her. You're wasting energy. I don't like it. Thank you. Okay, can I please get arrested? No, we got one more coming in. Two more coming in. There we go. Seriously, Keith? Why, how are you making so much noise? You haven't moved. I guess they're just, they're just attracted to him. They can smell him. I see one, I kill one, and three more come out. Oh, that's a lot more than three. Oh. Take a smoke real quick. Stop crouching, Keith. I guess uh, I could do a bit of fence trick in here. If the guys get too big, try to section them off. Like so. Come on then. Okay, how many are floating out right now? That's quite a bit. I think we can bust out the pistol for this. You know so, look at this. Very cool animation, the one I aim in. It doesn't work. Great. Thank you, game. I just swung the nightstick. Oh, we can't do that anymore. Let me pop a blocker so I can aim correctly. They're already chowing down the corpses or something. There you are. You can join the corpses. Reload, swap mag. I didn't. Okay, that's a that's a mistake. I don't have the mags on me. How many are left? Four, five, maybe. At least it has good stagger potential. These next six, because they're blunt. That's really what I want, just to slow them down a bit. Thank you, mouse, for just right-clicking out of nowhere. Even though I'm holding it down to aim. I don't understand it. Okay, I have some time to grab the stuffs. Right, there's quite a few out now. Yeah, they're, they got the corpses. Okay. Uh, where are my mags? Right there. Is that it, really? I won't complain. At least I got some. Eagle Eye Keith, ready to go to work. Yeah, they really like those corpses. That was like instant. Look at them. Disgusting. I would have a better idea to just crouch, really, just to get my sneak level level up. Also, because aiming is super cool. While you're crouched. Mm. 
Wie soll Gieß? Got a flanker next to the trailer. I see you. Oh, they switched over. Nice. 8 o'clock or 8 p.m. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Is that right? That sounds right. Hey there, you. Time to go. Jesus, here we go. This is where the fun begins. There's a crossbow in that nurse's bag. I think this might be a grenade potential right here. Now that I'm looking at it. That's a pretty target rich environment. If I do say so myself. Let me see. How do I do this? I equip it. And then let me not throw it at the car. Let me get those magazines back in here. Since I don't need them anymore. There's no ammo yet. I gotta refill them. Let's see. If I throw it right there. Run away. Kaboom. Please. It does make fire. Okay. Oh, good to know now. Why am I moving so slow? Keith, what is going on with you? You okay? Is that normal speed? Really? Or is it because I'm like deserted? I can't tell. I hope that fire goes out. I really do. If it doesn't, I'm gonna lead him this way. It seems to be killing them pretty quick. The noise brought out some more as well, looks like. Or the corpses, either one. Either way, this 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 parking lot's gonna be a, a battleground when I'm done with it. Slow and steady. That's how we're doing this. Perhaps I should have parked the RV down the road. Just so I can sleep in it, but... Too late now. How's the fire going? I think we're good. I don't see any Zeds over there. I need to go grab some ammo. I don't want to use the M16 yet. We did, I don't... I mean, I guess I could. We've got ammo. We got a few boxes. Might as well. It's gonna be low. But that's what it's for. It's time to, time to make some noise. Get them all outside. Because I'm not fighting indoors with Keith. At least not yet. I see you over there. How does it look like crouched? That's very cool. Very cool indeed. Oh, they are on the roof. Look at that. There's one sole person on that roof. I am gonna run out of ammo though, so let me go grab that. While well, they hit the herd, is thin. Thin enough, anyway. While oh, they are spreading the fire. Okay. The hospital might be gone. I don't know what they're gonna do with that fire. 9 mil. There we go. 5.56. Five, Boom. Perfect. So fire might just have to happen. I mean, it's okay by me. I'm killing Zed, so I'm happy. And they deserve it. They bit Keith. Don't forget that. I kind of retconned it by disabling the mod because it was breaking my game, but it did happen. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna ignore that. All right, time to reload this. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be here for a few days. I'm not sleeping in the RV. That's not gonna happen. Tell you what, let me get the other bomb out, the scrap bomb. This seems like it's gonna be not fire. Yeet. How do I fire? Don't sit down, Keith. 
Do I need a lighter? Is that what it is? That would make sense. Secondary. Turn it off, Keith. Why is it on? Yeet. There we go. Oh yeah, those are nice. No fire. That's what I want. Only problem is my lighter's about to go. But um I mean there is no but that's 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 it. My lighter is about to go. Shotgun would probably be better for this. Let me hop over the fence here. Jowsiness hasn't started yet, but I'm gonna have to take these guys into the forest so I can get to the van. Am I out of... I gotta do this. I've got some time. Repack the mag. Any day, Keith. There you go. Alright, let me go back to the, the hospital. Cut through the trees. Oh, there you. Oh, yeah. This is Zomboid for you. If you haven't seen Hordes, this is a Horde and a half. Oh wow, this is a mission. This is at least a couple thousand, maybe maybe two thousand, right there. I'm not sure. I'm not good at counting, but that's what it feels like to me. We're making progress, slowly but surely. Here you go, Keith. How many we got left? You've got some... 5, 5, 6 left. That's like 2 more mags. 60, yeah. 60 divided by 2. There goes the van. It's not going to burn down, but I'm not going to get it for a while. I'm bringing some from the road, it seems. Let's head back down this way. In these situations, you gotta just keep calm, but not too calm. You wanna, you wanna still be alert. I think that's why I messed up on the live stream. But just calm but alert. That's really the name of the game. And be over prepared. Definitely. You don't wanna be under prepared. That was a double. Nice. Alright, the fire definitely spread, so that'll help me out. Tell you what, while they're while they're busy burning themselves, let me just leave. I can come back in the morning, they'll probably be dead. I can head up to the tech warehouse, sleep up there. I know that place is safe. The fire station ain't that safe, but the, the tech warehouse right next to it, pretty safe. I could also just head home. But I think I'm gonna make this a longer episode maybe 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 not too long maybe a few minutes longer than usual but i think i'm gonna deal with these guys before i head in 
food. I put all the food in the RV. Or the trailer, I guess. I'm gonna need to get to that. But I'm not too far from home. If I need to go back, I can. Rock the old shoelace express back, back to home. If I need to. It's always something I can do. It's always a little safe haven. Level 2 exertion. Gotta go inside. How are we looking? Oh yeah, our fitness and strength went back down to level 6. Because when you chop off your arm, both of them go back down a level. So, yeah, that might mess with us. Uh, the sprinting's going up. A lot of things are going up. Check the kills. How are we looking? 2,483. Very nice. Okay, I need a good spot to sleep. Some place with a door. I think the bathroom might be our best bet. It's not the cleanest place. But it'll have to do. Let me see. How do we do this? Unroll. Uncook that. Set sleeping bag. Right there. Okay, let me get drowsy first before I pop a beta blocker. So you have to do this in the correct order, otherwise you won't sleep. Okay, now that I can't see anything, I can just sleep. Oh, nice. Alright, I will see you guys back at the hospital. Alrighty, we are back. Looks like there were quite a few out here. The fire is still going. I just wanna, I wanna get a little, little welfare check before I head out for today's episode. How's it looking? I need to get in here. Get the katana out. I need to guarantee one hit kills. We got plenty of fence still. We can still use that. How's the fire going? Looking good, honestly. It did take out quite a few. But it is burning the fences, I think. Yeah, it is. I just saw that one go. I don't know how it's burning metal fences and turning them wood, but it is. Take a smoke while we got a chance. Is that? Oh, that's one of the the, the, the cure zeds right there. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, no. I gotta... I don't know if I can kill him. He's gonna just turn to ash. I need that cure. Just in case we get bit again. No, don't burn ash. Can I... Can I do it? Yes, got it. Okay, one cure. Bam. So just in case we get bit again, we can we can survive. That was a close call. I almost didn't get that. I was afraid I was going to jump in the fire. Hello, biker. You are no match for my katana. Wait, there are still quite a few, I hear. Yeah, more coming from down over there where I'm facing now. See what you that katana. Maybe we can find another katana. Who knows? There are a lot of Zeds here. There's a good chance. Oh, there's, there's a chance. I don't know about a good chance. We are starting to show up behind me. Gotta watch out for the fence lunges. Hello, Zeds. Time to die. One big feet bags. Get out of here. Okay, you are making me annoyed. Stop making all that noise. Can't hear a thing. With all that munching. Oh, there's another cure zed right there. Okay, we are good. The mods are working. Bunk. I kind of just want to kill whoever's out here right now. And get out if I can. I also need to get the food, but I can't enter there. Or the Zeds are nearby. So it's kind of just a. I don't even know. I don't even know what to call it. It's just a bloodbath, really. At least for now, there's slow shamblers. These guys are breathing now. Gotta watch out for the flaming ones, though. That might actually be the last of the fire. I was off on one pipe bomb, by the way. I 
the FM's gonna go out soon. There you go. Right on cue. Oh, you're munching right there. I almost didn't see you. Camouflage. The black clothing on the ash. Okay, I don't want to get it right next to you. That's why. Right there. Nice. Just a few more, I think. Look at all the ash. See, all this ash was zed. So that just that just tells you how many died here from the fire last night. But I do have a mod that makes the fire do a bit more damage quicker, so that you're not spending days corralling zombies that are on fire. You just gotta wait like a night, and they'll be dead, which is very nice. Exertion is coming back. Food is going to be an issue soon. I can tell. You've been hungry since yesterday. This katana is going to go. It's going to be sad. Or I could save it at like 1% durability. That's also a thing I could do. Just put it in the camper trailer. Keep it there forever until I get back home. And then put it up on my trophy wall or something. Whenever I make it. Keith, you don't have to shove. You're exactly the same distance you were two seconds ago. And you're just swinging at them. You don't need to shove. I think after we deal with these guys, we should be able to enter the trailer. I hope so. Oh, lag. Always. Always lag. Who am I hearing? There's no one here. Oh, you're under the car. How did that happen? What? Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna question that. Okay, let's get off the- Oh, I didn't see you. That's my bad. Next stick's gonna go soon. I have a surplus of them. Not really a surplus. I've got, I've got like six extras in the van. In the bag. Die, please. Thank you. Alright, let's see. The music has calmed down. That's a good sign. They are still coming, though. And I can't necessarily drive out of here. I mean, hmm. I guess I might have to. Let's see, let me reload the pistol. Because I need some bullets. And I don't want to make that much noise. Okay, let's see. Is it just you two? It would really make my day if it's just you two. Why is there glass on the floor? Was that there before? Okay, well, you're not reloading, because I didn't unpack the boxes. That makes sense. Nice. We still have 120 rounds of 9 mil ready to go. Can I please enter this trailer? Yes! Okay. Good. We've made progress. That is good progress. Okay. Yeah, Keith, I'm gonna need you to just down a whole box of cereal right now. Thank you. Wait, flatlined. Nice. Okay, well... That is where this episode is going to end. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. Keith is making steady progress. Let me take a look here. What do we got? Crowbar is still a favorite weapon. You have survived 1 month, 15 days, 11 hours, going at 2,646 kills. Very nice. Well, if you like this type of stuff and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button down below. And consider hitting that subscribe button as well. It is free. You can unsubscribe whenever. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.